morning my dear students of class 7 how are you hope you all are well and stay your home now so boys today is friday and the date is 16th october 2020 and it is our english 2 class so boys today we shall start a new lesson that is how to solve reading comprehension passages in english so boys now let's start our lesson now So today we shall start the last chapter to our writing portion that is how to solve reading comprehension passages in English and it is you can do in previous class also but i shall recollect the points of the comprehension solving you know the some points the number 1 is do not over emphasize trivialities details are important but don't be obsessed with examples illustrations and so on you just need to get a hang of the main point and not the examples comprehending the overall flow and structure will help you analyze and answer the questions number 2 not memorize you do not need to memorize every word present in the passage understanding the flow structure and the main points in the passage should be your priority for factual or specific point questions you can always read it the passage number 3 do not read the passage first always go through the questions first and then the passage this will prepare you to focus on the things you need to look in the passage focus only on the questions and not on a particular answer option a quick overview of the questions is sufficient number 4 do not over emphasize on vocabulary skills for rcs having a strong vocabulary is great however having six period vocabulary will not prevent you from understanding the passage so do not put yourself under stress in this area and while reading the passage make that you understand the gist of the passage and do not get stuck on particular words Five. Do not spend time on RCS that you cannot comprehend at first. At times, we come across a passage that we are not able to comprehend. If you are struggling with one such passage in the exam, make sure you have the patience to avoid such a passage. Focus on the ones that you can manage easily. Go back to the tricky passages in case of absolute necessity. The point is six. Number six. Do not think the correct option would come from outside the passes any of the options that is out of scope is never the correct answer the right answer is always based on information given within the passes do not focus on any of the options that district you may from the passes then do not rely on trigger words you might get trapped in the wave of trigger words if you don't read attentively through the passage a passage may focus on one point for quite a bit of sentences and then change it towards the end with trigger words like but or however this will usually confuse readers who skim through the passage or rush through it in haste number 8 points make notes while reading obscure or abstract text make sure you make some quick notes for ready reference you can write the general flow structure paragraph wise flow and important points remember that you do not have make really long notes just make a quick note of the important makers or points in the passage nine try to prepare questions this is a really difficult skill but if you can master this you will surely be the king of reading comprehensions while reading the passage try to identify the possible questions that could be asked and which parts of the passage seem the most likely candidates for question setting number 10 opening and closing paragraphs require extra focus questions such as the main idea question are based on the 
overall subject of the passage and majority of the times the answer for this question type lies in the first and last paragraph of the passage ensure you derive the maximum possible information from these paragraphs is the constantly question yourself while reading the passage in order to maintain your concentration while reading make sure that some basic questions keep playing at the back of your mind what is the author's main point why is the author writing this how has the author chosen to convey him's main point how has the author organized his material finally don't expect to be stimulated in fact expect the opposite majority of time you would be more by our cement in an impartial attitude towards the passage and do not get mentally hazelled by obscure content the ever from some of the basic points that should be kept in mind while approaching reading comprehensions this would improve your focus increase your grasp of the subject matter and deliver greater understanding if you achieve this your task is more or less done so boys this is the know that how the comprehension is solved so boys this is our last chapter for the writing portion and next class we shall start the revision and i shall discuss also which chapter i can revised or revision again